Okay, see if we can get some decent feeding on my Black Widow. I say it's, um, it's awkward because I keep destroying his uh, closure. I wonder if I can. Okay, I'll have to just, just open the lid again and hope that I don't destroy too much of his web. wrapped up just like that and the Black Widow is unable will now be able to bite the victim when he is wrapped up and the venom will take effect it's all about the web with the Black Widow Definitely must get another enclosure for him. I'm not a fan of these tubs. I can't really see. There's the bite right there for the looks of it. I'm really glad I'm able to get some good footage for you with this black with her. Turns out my Black Widow has actually molted again. That's well quick. She's now molted twice since she's been with me. Wow. That's unbelievable. And that is within a couple of weeks. That has got to be within a couple of weeks. Unbelievable. I've never known a spider to molt so quick. I gave her quite a big cricket for her size. Let's have a closer look at her. So as you can see there, there's two molts. One in the foreground and one in the background blurred. And there, my newly molted brown with her. Now 
hourglass and just make it out there. Still not red yet though. Impressive. Hello. <coughs> I'm going to be feeding her today then. Let's put the lid back on. Okay, so it's been uh, about three days now since my brown widow's bolted. So I think I'll, uh, I will include her into the uh, feeding video. So here we go, let's drop in our locusts. Quite big for her, but as you can see, she doesn't care of the size of the prey. She just like the black widow. We use the web as her weapon. I don't think that locust realizes what sort of danger he is in right now as he tries to get at the top of the tub. You can't really see it on video, but the silk that she is chucking out there is a lot. <laughs> Just throwing that silk over that locust here, it's not got a clue what's going on. I think she's actually due for a rip house soon. Oh, um, where's she gone? There she comes. <laughs> yeah, that um, that second malt was unexpected. Ah. Yeah, that, that second malt was uh, unexpected, but uh, it was a nice surprise. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the lid on now, because um, <laughs> she escapes in. I don't mind black with those, because they're, like I say, they're, they're not like um, lightning fast. They're very easy to manage. So I've put the uh, the lid back on, and she's continuing to wrap the locust up. This is the last little view. Locust is still alive. Maybe she didn't bite him yet. Brown Widow is not as venomous or not as toxic, shall I say, as your Black Widows. Still, uh, there's the bite. Still wouldn't like to get bit by one, but I'd say it'd be uh, very hard to get bit by a Black Widow. You'd have to have one accidentally in your clothes or something and have it crushed against your skin. 
for it to bite. Oh, beautiful spiders. As you can see again, it just shows that the size of the prey that these spiders can take down it doesn't really matter the size of them. Uh, it's all, all in the web. The web does all the work. I say, uh, since something gets trapped in the web of a, or the widow spiders, that is it. Well, that's the widow feedings. So I hope you enjoyed uh, my black widow feedings and my brown widow. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. As usual, like, comment and subscribe.